I might have chocolate for on my teeth for the rest of the interview, but I don't even care. Hey, I'm Laura Morano, and today I am trying out a variety of ice cream that is both dairy and non-dairy. Wish me luck. Okay, everyone, I'm not gonna lie, I am so so excited because I just get to eat ice cream today. So very, very ready for this. I haven't tried any of these flavors. Obviously like a chocolate one, you know, we've all been there, all had some amazing chocolate ice cream, but I don't know if I've tried it. I've definitely never tried the non-dairy. So I have no idea what to expect, but we're gonna get into it right now. I'm sorry for my incredibly husky voice today. I have been talking a lot. So ice cream is the perfect solution to that. Okay, let's do this. One is just gonna spell all over me. Oh my God, I will eat all of this right now. Maybe I shouldn't eat all of it right now because it's kind of a full plate and I have a lot of ice cream, but this is amazing. If you like ice cream, but you don't eat dairy or can't eat dairy, this is definitely a great one. I'm just gonna like lick the plate. Oh my God. I might have chocolate for on my teeth for the rest of the interview, but I don't even care. Okay, I'm now gonna go for the dairy uh, chocolate fudge brownie. And I'm very interested to kind of see what the difference is here. I might even go back and forth a little bit to really just, you know, this is for science. And this is um, a little melted. And that's honestly my favorite type of ice cream because I will eat ice cream in a mug. And um, when it gets a little melted, I'll just like, use the spoon and like soup up the, it's like a little milkshake without any other part of the milkshake, just the ice cream. Anyway. Oh my God, so good and just different for sure. I would not know that this didn't have dairy in it, but this just tastes a little bit sweeter, I wanna say, the one that has dairy. Because it's a little melted, I haven't had any brownie yet, so I don't know, maybe the non-dairy goes a little heavier on the brownie. Where are you, brownie? This is chocolate ice cream soup and I'm not complaining. Mm. Oh my God, today is the best day ever. Still have not had that much brownie. So maybe regular dairy filled chocolate fudge brownie is not bringing, bringing it in terms of the brownie. I don't wanna start drama between the two, but just gotta speak my truth, you know what I mean? Oh my God, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Mm, okay. Chocolate has spilled. I, I repeat, chocolate has spilled. We are on to the second round of flavors. I'm excited to try this because I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. I I love like cherry flavored candy, which I feel like you can't even say that is actual cherries. But when it comes to the fruit cherries, I'm a, I'm a hard pass, I'm like a nah. But it is with cherries and fudge flakes. Very enticed by the fudge flakes, fudge flakes. Wow, say that five times fast. Fudge flakes, fudge flakes, but mm, can't do it. I'm going non-dairy first. You know, there are flakes. So I'm gonna just go in. Okay, give me, give me a second. Okay. Definitely a little yogurty, I would say. I hate yogurt with fruit stuff in it. I'm, I'm like, can't do it. Not my favorite, would not go order that. I'm very curious though, I'm going into the dairy one how I'm gonna feel if it will feel as yogurty because obviously yogurt has dairy. Listen, I know I'm I'm aware of the yogurt situation, but I don't know. I'm just curious if this will feel a little sweeter because that's where I found what I found with the chocolate fudge brownie. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Okay, I'm like nervous about it. Um, let's go in. Cool. Hmm. So that one just definitely had more chocolate going on. Like the chocolate, the fudge flakes, way heavier in the dairy version, which I'm not mad at. Like, do you love me some chocolate and fudge? Again, not super into the flake aspect. What can you do? I didn't taste as much cherry flakes here. So all in all, this flavor tastes more chocolatey. And again, it's like a little bit sweeter. I don't know what that is. I don't know if. In the dairy version, they also have more sugar or just the dairy 
has sugar in it. So this didn't even really feel that cherry-ish to me because I think I had a lot of chocolate or fudge flakes in that. I'm gonna have it just, I'm gonna do the little milkshake situation, just have it by itself and see. It's pretty chocolatey. I feel like the fudge flakes have just overwhelmed the uh, the cherry aspect. It's like chocolate with a touch of cherry. And that one was definitely like cherry with not much chocolate. This is a moment in my life where uh, I'm interested to say the least. We're going into the last flavor, non-dairy and dairy. And this is called fish food, but with a PH. So very cool. When I first said it, I was a little um, nervous because I'm like, is there fish in this? Bold choice, Ben and Jerry's. But no, there. I don't think there is actual fish. I think it's fudge fish. Man, they love like the double F alliteration. We have fudge flakes, fudge fish. To give you an understanding and myself an understanding of what we're about to embark on, we got chocolate with gooey marshmallow swirls. Mm, not sure how I feel about that. Caramel swirls and then fudge fish. And I think with the fudge fit, it's literally just like fudge that's fish shaped, uh, I think. So I'm not a big marshmallow person, never have been. Anytime s'mores has been an option for me, I'm always like, skip the marshmallow, give me the chocolate by itself, and give me the graham cracker by itself. I'm just very like, let's not mix things. I'm gonna try a flavor that has it all, right? This is gonna be a humongous bite. Non-dairy first, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing, even with the cherry flavor, I'm a little bit like, I want ice cream to be easy to eat. That's part of the appeal. It's good, it's tasty, sugary, cold, makes you feel happy inside. There's a lot of just happiness that comes, but it's also simple, right? You don't work too hard. I feel like I'm working real hard with this, okay? Not terrible. The the fudge fish was a little a little hard to eat. Caramel with it was not bad, I was into it. I mean, this is really opening my eyes to a lot of <laughs> magical flavors. But the fudge fish, it was just kind of intense. The marshmallow I could barely taste. I felt like I really tasted the caramel and the chocolate and the fudge fish just really took all of my attention. I'm gonna go for our last flavor, which is the dairy version of fish food. There's like slight differences with even like the wording here, so like this says, Chocolate, this is not that big of a deal, but I'm like fascinating. Chocolate with gooey marshmallow swirls, caramel swirls, and fudge fish. And this is chocolate ice cream with gooey marshmallow swirls, caramel swirls, and fudge fish. What does it mean? I'm curious what this is gonna be. This might get all over my mouth and face, but this is a no judgment zone. I feel safe with you guys. We're eating ice cream together. Okay, let's go. Mmm, mmm. Again, I feel like I worked very hard for that one singular bite, but I mean, I did enjoy it. I wasn't mad at it. It just, the chocolate and again, the fudge fish is very overwhelming to me that I'm not tasting anything else. And I'm very into that. I'm like, just give me, just make it chocolate. We'll call it a day and I'll have as much as possible. But if you could subtract the fudge fish, I know I'd be happy. I would say, the dairy flavors all felt sweeter and tasted sweeter to me than the non-dairy, but the non-dairy was still sweet and I would not know at all that this was non-dairy. I have not changed my mind that I passionately believe ice cream should be easy to eat and I think these flakes and the fish and all of these things just make the experience a little bit tougher. So not my cup of tea. But I will also say the cherry and the fish food, I was pleasantly surprised and enjoyed it, I think a bit more than I thought I was going to. I'm really happy that I got to eat all this ice cream. And after the camera stopped rolling, I think I might finish the chocolate one, but I'm not gonna do that now because it will look crazy on my face. If I had to pick a winner, since this is Food Fight and all of these foods have been fighting for my love and approval, I would say I would just go with 
the classic, just regular Ben and Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie. I think again, because I'm not into the mixing and because this did actually have less brownie, which some people might be like, that's why I don't want it. So definitely, 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 this is the winner for me and we'll go back again and we'll probably eat this after we stop rolling. So I'm very excited. Thank you so much for watching My Food Fight. Don't forget to subscribe to Women's Health.